Minnesota takes the lead. And that is where Minnesota gains all the momentum in the building. You know, like we were saying, a lot of a lot of sets from the from the back row passing. And there, for the first time, we see a little bit of miscommunication from the waves. She's just really an integral part of this team. All right there, Elise McGee coming in. And that's right there, it shows you why she comes in for CeCe McGraw, Meredith. Point right away for the U. And it ended with those two meeting up in the Elite Eight last year as McGee slams in an ace. Elise McGee drops in the serve and gets the ace. She struggled and serve received, so it seems to me that they want to pick on Lysiak a little bit. But right there, Stinson really stepped in front of her and took that first contact. Russo, Thomas, Ilara goes off speed there, kept alive by the Gophers. Russo setting her up once more. Land fair. And Northwestern cannot get to it. A great rally. Gets it over for Minnesota. And the overpass gives the point and the set to the Gophers. Iowa with four in the back row. Ortega moves up to the front, sets it up for Urquhart, throws it down. Great dig by Kill Kelly, her fourth of the match. Landfair just needs to hit it, hit it over. Jones across to Schmidt. McGee over to Landfair, throws it down, finds that corner. She is picking corners out here, Katie. Chris Thomas, sixth year as the head coach, has not won here against his old boss, Hugh McCutcheon, former Illinois. Their current Illinois coach and former Minnesota assistant, Chris Thomas. And Kill Kelly with the dig. And Taylor Lanfair into the cross court with a big thunderous swing. You can expect that from Lanfair all night long. Iowa's not been able to get anything going, and they keep the heat on Vanderweide passing. Lanfair. Stepping in front of the Libro to receive that pass. There's a block. Second time, over the top, Mari Hinkle dig. Landfair rips it, shot cross. Well, I'm glad that didn't come towards the table because even off the bounce, that would have been quite powerful. Can we get another 32-30 Purdue, Minnesota set? This, we'll see. This could be the longest match ever. Calling it now in set one. <laughs> Taylor Lanfair putting it down. Minnesota unstoppable right now. And back Elise McGee checked in for the Gophers, serving back at the line. McGee over, great serve, and that'll be an ace for the Gophers. Really impressive grit shown there. Yep. Barely made it back up in time for the play and then able to come out on top, and that is an ace. Junior from Kansas City, Missouri. Received by Terry, and that's going to be the first error on the day by the Illini. Looking for that line shot just a little too wide. McGee again over, picked up by Saris, and he was, couldn't get a grab on it. That one will be another point for the Gophers. Really impressive, too, from the Gophers. I mean, up, up six points and still staying scrappy, not letting anything drop. Transferred from Kansas. 12-7 Minnesota, what a serve from McGee. That thing had a ton of movement on it. And here is Elise McGee to serve. And it's another ace. Fourth of the match for Minnesota. Gets them back in front. Still haven't had a service ace in this match. Moore dug out by McGee. Ohio State with a block at the net. Wooker, excuse me, that's Wenis. Wenis again. Takes something off it. Ohio State responds. Gophers with a chance. Dean looking to grow to we haven't seen since the first set, and she immediately gets a kill. 
The second win under Keegan Cook. The first, of course, ranked win in his tenure leading the Gophers. Lanfair feeding Walker. Simpson with the attack. Groats tools it off the block. Baylor somehow keeps it alive. Awalea puts it down. And an upset loss to Long Beach State. Skinner back again, targeting Landfair. Is Lauren Crowell into the game? And she's able to get it over the defense. Adding a couple inches to her vertical as well. She's taken a whole nother leap forward. Which is always very nice. You'll take it. Texas out of system. Walker trying to bail out the Gophers. He named her the greatest state champion in Kansas history. Oh, that nice touch right there from Phoebe. Only four that she would come in and set for them. In fact, she did earlier this match. Shaft Master will exit the game with three kills and ten digs. Dom Simpson. Pass a ball here for Crate. Tied game here, seven to seven. Oh, that will be a one for the Gophers. Huge. Landfair having a very much up and down game. Five kills, five aces, but six errors. For the star. Landfair gets it over the net. Adam Simpson. McGee, her career, 1,162 assists, huge for the court. Lisa McGee, back to Grote. Braden will be able to return this one. And that, McGee running around everywhere for this Gopher team. Madame Simpson with the touch. And that'll go out. Exciting here, we have a close matchup in these 10-12 area. Landfair, who's had five aces in the game, I believe. Oh. Lots going on there, but it will end up as a go for point. Crowd getting on their feet here a little bit. Don't want to lose the momentum if you are the Gophers. And grow. what a play. Lydia Grove not going to let that happen. I mean, my goodness. The Martin still with an Great game so far, 18 kills. She just needs to reel in those errors. Land there, great hit. Ooh, what a save. Kendra Waite, great block right there. Ava Martin with no aces so far. Sets it up, McGee, Walker, she wanted that one. But in set number two and right here in set number four, it has been Iowa with their foot on the gas, making things difficult for this Minnesota team. But Melanie Shaftmaster and her offense, she's already got a career high. Consistently going deep in the tournament, making the tournament. And Coach Keegan Cook said, you know, he feels the pressure coming into a program, just as Minnesota gets that point, he feels the pressure coming into this program. It can just go off the hands of the blocker out. So you really have to be strategic as a blocker where you're pushing your hands in. It gotta be to the center of the court. Hynum's take this from Crowell in with a land fair, puts the ball down. The freshman checked in for the Wolverines. Here's Kylie Murr, Elise McGee back out, tipped. Picked up again by Kylie Murr. Here's Crowell just tipped over the block. That one attempted to stay up by the freshman Burke, but point Michigan. Here's Mr. Govix again. Sid then finds Elise McGee. And Landfair puts that one down. Not gonna let that happen twice. First year for him after the eight years in Washington and the success with that program. 
Dowler outside. Swing from Layla Ivey, sophomore from Indianapolis. Bumped up by Lily Gunter. Murr first contact. Landfair blocked, but out of bounds, Point, Minnesota. McGee going to Wooker. Has the pass and then steps up for the putaway. And Russ among the front runners in the block category in the conference. In 13 8 here, Maryland. Continuing to have this multiple point lead. And now. And Schnitta gets her first kill. Sire leading the way with five thus far for the Terps. Nobody else has more than two. This is when you really need to go back to your basics and relearn how to play with one another. McGee going down low to get that ball. And Grove able to operate effectively. You know this building better than most. <laughs> Raynell <do>. Jones. <laughs> Block Maestro for Maryland here throughout her career. How about that from Murr? Good scramble there from McKenna Wooker to keep it alive. Running to the outside, Samantha Schnitta. Deny Sire. Off the block up front. McGee hustling over. Wooker goes off speed. Murr in again for first contact. And that broke with the termination. Transfer in from Cal out west. The start of this set. And they're trying to see if they can surge ahead, or at least a 5-1 hole at the start of this set. A good pass, whether it was a perfect pass. So it's an improvement based off of not orientation on results. And they're trying to get those good thoughts, and then the results will follow. Dowler to the outside. Big. Lick there from Ivan the outside, handled. You just keep things very simple. McGee down the line for Grote. Spawn all the way back. Sire playing it over, and it's Murr going down to keep it up. And then on the outside, Grote. She did wipe off her shoes, so it may be a little bit slippery, and we're just trying to find ways to win. Second net violation for her and Grote delivering kill number six. And delivering her second kill tonight. From the slide is her go-to. So to see her hitting in other ways and to see her contributing in other offensive plays does create some down on, I need to hit as tricky as possible to find a way to score. Effective serve there from Grote. Free ball here, in Minnesota. Wooker alertly using the block with the tip. And she is a force to be reckoned with with Minnesota. And that's Dowler with the big block. Five team blocks overall. Sire looking for a pancake. Trying to make it back to back set wins to begin here at home. That'll be a great just energy booster for Maryland. It's hard to stop them. And vault Maryland back on top. McGee trying to work to grow off hands. Spawn saves in the back. Broke down to keep it up. Landfair tipping it over. Sire kind of hit that one on the way down. Didn't get enough mustard on it. Landfair got plenty on that. Good get from Spawn. McGee pumps to the outside and Grote alertly tools the block. The left thumb, but mm, right, yeah, right. the moment is gone. No challenge there. Murr, how about that reaction? Off the tape serve and the put away from Wooker. Circle that point if Minnesota comes back. That was massive. Players in both teams on what they're going to do this set. Set number one, Maryland led all the way. Set number two, that was not the case. There were seven lead changes and 13 ties. Hoping for more thrills and spills here in set three. Speaking of spills, there's Murr. Down as she always is. Junior from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Back in to serve. McGee for Landfair. Again, hit that one on the way down. Just the fourth kill for Taylor Landfair. Going to the middle, and Davis, and she delivers. They were working on this earlier today in serve and pass with to get a run, to create a better offense, a better pass for a player to score. 
McGee, back set, throat. Gunter keeping it alive. Off speed there from Sire, almost fooled everybody. But a good save from McGee. Minnesota giving Maryland a free ball. Dump there from Dowler. Another scramble there from the Gophers. Another dump from Dowler. Hustle on both ends. Rooker says, enough of this. Termination. All order against six foot five up front. Fifth block for Russ. Yeah, he just go around the block. Cut the lead to two. McGee going to Wooker. And the Turks can't save that one. Tenth kill of the match. First gopher in double figures. To be tied right now. McGee, how about that? The gusto to go for it herself. They're thinking that Eva was going to get set, but a little bit into the net. A very common mistake happening this match. Landfield. Rick's going down, and Maryland can't save it. Point, Gophers. Very aggressive players in the front row. They could end on an amazing service or an amazing block. Warbach. Landfair finishes, and Minnesota survives here in the third. It's been really good. Amberman, of course, Went from a bench player at UC Irvine to a star, led the Ant Eaters to a national title in the men's game. Both sides, McGee is starting to be able to create a connection between her and her defense and her offense, but Maryland did give them a fight. They did create so many opportunities for them to score. Three up here early in set four. And if you haven't been with us, score line here, Terps have never beaten Minnesota in 18 tries in volleyball. And nine kills for her. Sire still pacing all players with 15. And Minnesota now on a midi surge. Hang time from both these players is insane because they saw the ball and they were able to hang and for the season. The 22 against Oregon at 27 against TCU. And the non-conference portion of the schedule. Another lightning bolt off the arm of Ivy. And that one blocked down. Awolea with the thunder. Landfair. Again, she has. Grote going cross court. Get another high quality win here against a ranked foe in Big Ten competition. Landfair down the line. You know you're going to get opportunities to beat ranked teams here. Awesome to display against these amazing teams. Dowler. Ivy rising up high, and that's Dowler, the setter, a killer. Second of the season for her. Went off one last week against Rutgers. And Lanfair's put away. And hitting a 245 2, hitting under 200 coming into the match. How about McGee? Smart from the senior in the no look dump. Here's Grkovic, who has taken her serving to another level in her senior season. This time, palm down for the kill. And I think what's most impressive about Humphrey is the last three matches, she's hit well over 200, which has not been the case for her most of her career. Great dig from Chitty. She had 20 of them last night. Hartman takes the second chance. Murr with the dig. Here's Landfair. Another chance for the reigning Big Ten Player of the Year. And you can only give her so many opportunities before she's going to put it down. So if you looked at this matchup on paper, this is not how it's expected to play out. But then again, this is the Big Ten. Anything can happen on any given night. And you factor in a long five-set match, a three-hour bus ride last night for Minnesota. We'll see if they can adjust. Nice dig from Murr. 
Rutgers, though, they have dictated the tempo. That one pinballs around, gives the Gophers a chance. Davis, the changeup, perfectly placed over the top from Erica Davis. She had a kill last night on a similar play. And has now done it on back-to-back -back nights. Here's Davis. A dig from Williams. Rutgers trying to keep it alive, but they run out of room. First set win against a ranked opponent in almost two years last night. Now they got a chance to do it on back-to-back -back nights. That time, Landfair goes right back to work and goes down the line. That one coming at a wrong time. McGee. And a big left hand that time from Lauren Crow, the six foot four redshirt sophomore from Egan, Minnesota. He's been talking about taking those big building block steps, winning sets against ranked teams, winning a match against a ranked team as Landfair gets a kill out of the break. Doesn't want to be a one trick pony kind of deal. Let's have a lot of different players involved in the big plays. Six set points for Rutgers. Here's Wooker down the line. And that one is in. There's plenty of rotations already. 13 players have already entered the match. They know how important keeping those legs fresh is going to be tonight. 100 kills on the season now for the first year Scarlet Knight. Rutgers the first to 20 again. Wooker goes right down the line. Perfect placement. That's one of her favorite shots. Good eyes there from Wooker and great serve again from McGee. There's an ace. Here's Grakovich, Tina Grakovich back at the line. Lisa McGee now checked in. Lauren Crowell puts the ball down. We have Alyssa Kinkilla up to serve. Here's Kinkilla. And Landfair closes out the match here tonight. There's your reigning Big Ten player of the year. Here's Elise McGee, the transfer. And that was an ace. Been a lot of good for Wooker. And her first year is the top hitter for Minnesota. It's her second year working with Taylor Landfair and Melanie Schaffmaster. And she's become the top hitter at three and a half kills per set, and she adds another. Wooker with her fifth. Wooker with the tip. And McGee with a good get for Minnesota. And Wooker through the block. Masters hands to allow McKenna Wooker to have this fast tempo ball. And that has a little bit of a seam in that block she can rip right through. Disorganized. We got a new setter in. Just a different look right now with number 10, Elise McGee, setting the offense. Torrent of offense. Hitting 565, holding Minnesota to 105 in this second set. And Landfair puts it down. Serve up and over. Navarrete with the dig. San Giacomo. Murr. Now to Landfair. Up by Navarrete, but it's out. Gophers currently have 12-9 against the Boilermakers. And the ace from Elise McGee increased the lead. You're not the Big Ten Player of the Year for nothing. Both teams with some really great depth they're utilizing tonight. Back row attack from Eva Hudson's high off the block. And the pancake from Palabic will keep it alive. Swing from Lourdes Myers, another dump shot from Schaffmaster goes down this time. So far in this fourth set. Up from McGee. Just pushed back from Hanson. Chance for Hayworth, and there's the powerful left hand again. Uh, I mean, I've mentioned it. She can play anywhere on this court and be an elite player. And they immediately get on the board. That's one way to do it with an ace. Well, interesting for Minnesota as well. They actually start off the match with a serve sub. And add an ace. They are scoring every possible way. Just approaching every point, every game, just the same as the last one. And an incredible dig takes out the scoring table.